We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, which seeks out innovative ideas to help our environment. One California company says there's a bright future in merging big data with big energy savings. Planet Forward creator Frank Sesno explains. Meet Rusty Cumston and Hugh Martin, entrepreneurs, maybe even visionaries, co-founder and CEO of a company called Sensity Systems. It's all about lighting and technology, and a dramatic shift, they think, could be very similar to the revolution in TVs. The conversion was to LEDs um, and flat panel displays. And now every television you get today has a microprocessor built into it. And you get an array of applications that you can enable right out of the box as soon as you plug your television in. The same type of evolution is going to occur in the lighting world. Their idea, LED lighting that saves energy and lasts 25 times longer than incandescent bulbs. But here's the real innovation. Make this a network of smart lights that combine LED technology with chips and sensors, collecting and sending data about temperature, precipitation, carbon dioxide levels, even seismic activity, yes, earthquakes. Anyone in an open system can get access to that information and use it. Um, the only limits is their creativity. Sensity estimates there are as many as a billion outdated streetlights in North America. The cost of upgrading all those old lights is a challenge, maybe even prohibitive, but over time, Sensity says, the energy savings offset the installation cost. Based out of Sunnyvale, California, Sensity is working to complete demonstration trials. Next step, working with developers to create apps that put all that data to use. We're seeing customers interested in parking applications, monitoring assets, and improving security. Those are the initial applications which are driving demand for the light sensory network. Beyond that, it's about a connected world. Lighting the way, gathering data from lights, fueling the bottom line, a bright idea that just might move the planet forward. And Planet Forward creator Frank Snezno is with us now. Frank, how far away are we from actually seeing a network like this? No, oh, pretty far away because there's first you got to get the lights in, then you got to get the network in place, and this is a, a very new idea. We're only just beginning to cut through the cost barrier on LED lighting. You know, um, I said it before, the cost may be prohibitive for some communities because it's four times or so the upfront cost of replacing bulbs. But you take Los Angeles, for example, that's in the process of replacing 141,000 streetlights. When they do that, when they're done, there are estimates that they'll save $2.5 million in maintenance alone every year, another $7 million or so in electricity costs. And it's not atypical for some communities to be spending 30, 40 percent of their overall electricity bill for the municipality in streetlights. So you can see what a big boon this could be to the bottom line of municipalities. These are lights that can last literally decades. And then if you network them, wow, now you're talking. So it's a ways to go, but pretty exciting stuff. All right. Frank Sesno, the creator of Planet Forward. Thanks so much. If you have an idea you'd like to submit, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out Bloomberg.com slash sustainability.